G'day guys, Brennan here with SMT. Uh, this one, just a quick video, just to go over. Uh, we've gone through like breast massage techniques in our last video. Uh, this one, we're starting to get around to more playing with the nipple and also just a couple of um, two rules of thumb just to think about when conducting foreplay in general. So the top side of the tongue is a little bit rougher and the underside of the tongue is a little bit softer. Use them both. So this counts for breasts, uh, licking the nipples as well, and also just things like kissing the neck and kissing the earlobe and that sort of thing. Anywhere where you might be using your tongue a little bit, keep in mind that they have different textures and you may prefer one over the other. And you can sort of play around with both. It's just one of those random things that actually is really good for foreplay. This is getting more into more just foreplay rather than actual uh, sensual massage. But you can certainly, in a a uh, very sensual massage where <laughs> you are uh, with someone who you're romantically involved with. You can always, uh, you know, interject um, some of these sort of like just normal sort of foreplay techniques like kissing and nibbling and licking into the massage uh, and I'm sure they won't complain. Uh, but it's also a good way just to see, you know, like see what they like and see what they prefer out of the two. The other two things to play around with is your breath as well. So especially if you have like kissed their neck, kissed their nipple, kissed their breasts, if it might be a little bit moist and then if you sort of breathe onto it, it'll feel really nice. It'll sort of amplify the temperature of your breath. So temperature of your breath. So basically if you breathe in, it's a little bit colder and you'll be able to feel like colder air. And if you breathe out, it's a little bit warmer. So you can also play around with those two things and see what she prefers. And definitely, I think, mix in both. Because uh, the contrast between, like we said, the top side of the tongue and the underside of the tongue, both kind of used back to back can be really, really nice. And same thing with the breath as well. Um, using them both back to back uh, on the same part of the body, whether it is, yeah, earlobe, neck, breasts, nipples, um, definitely other parts of the body as well. Um, but yeah, they're some of the more common ones that uh, uh, women will tend to really enjoy during foreplay. Uh, and during a sensual massage technique, if you're with someone who you're romantically involved with and uh, you have both agreed upon uh, being open to have this be more of a sort of sexual massage and putting these sort of like uh, fun techniques in, uh, if you've agreed, on that be agreed upon that beforehand, uh, absolutely throw them in. Uh, guys, have a great day. Uh, we will get back to the breast massage technique videos um, part two in the next video. Uh, but this one kind of like was just a good one to sort of throw in there just to show that you can certainly do a few other techniques that are a bit more sort of like more to do with just foreplay. You can certainly throw these into the massage to make an even better experience uh, for the person who you're giving the massage to, which is what this is all about. So feel free to like, uh, Chuck a comment in there down the below if you guys have any questions, I'd hear these videos. Uh, any advice for me as well, I'm always looking to learn. Uh, learn as much as I can about this subject that I love. And uh, yeah, jump over to the channel, subscribe, and you can see tons of other content and lots of other videos over there. Uh, have a great day, guys. Bye.